We're going to start that just like that. We're going to start this podcast off today. Yo, Lockout Man right here. Want to give a super shout out to my girl, Queen Trucking. Yo, if you guys haven't checked out her channel, you better check it out. She's the hottest trucker right now. Yo, if you guys want to get shout out on the next video, don't forget to just like this video. Like it. And then in the comments below, hashtag shout outs. And you will get shout out in the next video. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Hey. How y'all feel out there? Y'all feel good? Y'all feel all right? Y'all feel all right? Y'all feel good? Hey, welcome back to another Lockout Men podcast on the 30 or on the 30 podcast. However you guys want to say it, it's on the 30. You know, I'm on my 30 minute break, but unfortunately it's at night, so I'm on my 10 hour break. So I should be getting some sleep, but I got a little bit of editing to do and I'm about to knock all that out. But but enough of enough of the niceties. Let's get into the real reason why I started this podcast for this evening. Check this out. Truck drivers. Yo, the blood bath continues. The blood bath is continuing. People keep saying that there is a driver shortage. But how is it a driver shortage if so many companies is shutting down? They're shutting their doors. They're stranding. They're stranding? Stranding. Is that a word? I don't know, but I'm going to use it. Stranding drivers. Next on the chopping block, it is GDS Express out of Akron, Ohio. Man, another trucking company from my hometown. Oh man, I'm I, I'm I'm local, you know. Well, not local in the sense, but I work for a local company, and I pray to God that 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 this company, okay, that this company will continue to take care of its drivers and to get freight so we can keep moving. Man. Look at here. GDS Express closes abruptly, shuts off fuel cars, leaving drivers stranded. It is sad situation going on. This year alone, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten companies. Celadon was just last week or week before last, right? And Celadon was a major carrier. They got hit by people mismanaging the company's funds. These these guys got to really hire some people that's 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 going to look out for the company, because so far, these people that they're hiring to take care of they to take care of these companies is not doing the work. They're not doing the job. And who pays for it in the end? The Akron based Ohio based GDS Express has abruptly closed its doors, shutting off fuel cars and stranded and stranded and stranded the drivers the week before Christmas. So this is I don't it doesn't say in this article where there how many drivers that this particular company had. But just 4,000 employees, about 2,000 of them was drivers from Celadon right before Christmas. And then they wonder why truck drivers or people in general get so depressed around this time of year because of things like this happening. They driving up and down the road and all of a sudden they get a Qualcomm message right here. That says it's with heavy heart and fighting anger and tears that I send this message. Unfortunately, through mismanagement, keyword mismanagement, from ownership, GDS, that's 
God Delivery Service. I don't know if that's the actual name, but it just came up off the top of my mind, right? It's closing its doors. I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you who's been with the family for over the years. We accomplish a lot. Well, maybe not enough because y'all abruptly closed your doors and shutting off the fuel cars, making it hard for these drivers to get back home. Back to Ohio, I take it. We are proud to be GDS. I bleed blue and orange. Moving forward, if anyone needs help of a reference, please contact me. I think by going to a company and say, yo, GDS, GD, GDS went out of business and I'm here looking for a driving, driving job. I think that's reference enough. I think it is. Transportation Network is where I get all of the good content information from says that it has confirmed with multiple sources with direct knowledge that the company notified office personnel as well as drivers of the company demise this past Tuesday yesterday day before yesterday so drivers is out there driving and all of a sudden they get a call kind message that says boom we're done wherever you at shut it down as of Thursday, the company listed Google right here. Here it is. Permanently closed. It is unclear at this time how many drivers are stranded away from home or if and when drivers will receive additional assistance or if they will receive their last paycheck. Sherry Ward has been a driver for GDS for 21 years. During her time with the company, she purchased two trucks and spent the last two years as a company driver. During her, oh wait, she said she should have seen the writing on the wall. What I tell you guys, what I say, when you see the writing on the wall, then it's time to make that move. Right? It is time to make that move, that power move. When you see it starting, it's time to make that move. So you won't be in a situation. But unfortunately, she says she was in Missouri and was heading to Michigan to deliver a load when she received word Monday evening that the company was closing. It wasn't until the middle of the night that it actually hit her hard. So now, she got up, fueled up the truck, and she's taking it back to Akron. Good for her. Good for her. When you see it coming, make sure you fill up them, fill up them tanks because that's what's going to get hit first. It's those fuel cars. They're going to shut them off before all the drivers fuel up because, you know, fuel, to fuel up these tanks is about four, five hundred dollars. And you got every last driver out there that's filling up them tanks that's trying to get back home. You feel me? They're going to try and stop that. Stop it. Ward says the company owes her approximately $3,000 in wages from the previous two weeks. But she is doubtful that she will ever see a penny of it. $3,000 within two weeks and you kept running for them? I don't know. I think it's time to jump. I think it was time to jump ship when they messed up the first paycheck and they didn't give it to you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They said that they T, uh, TN says that this is a continuing ongoing uh, information, so of course, when they get information, I will get the information and I will still keep you guys posted. Messed up. Messed up. These these CEOs is stealing money from their own companies. And again, who 
pays for it? Who hurts the most? The drivers. The drivers hurt. We hurt. We got feelings. And getting the pink slip before Christmas? The happiest time of the year? It's the most wonderful time. They could go back and say, hey, last year we was at this good company and boom, they slammed the door in front of us. So what's the outlook for us in the future? What is the outlook for trucking, period? Celadime, New England Freight. Falcon, HVC, some shit like that. I can't remember. HV, HV, whatever. Now this, GDS, God Delivery Service. That is a good name, right? How many more trucking companies got to go to the wayside? We still got another year to go, y'all. 2020 coming up. 2020 well GDS their their most notable companies that they pulled for was uh, Mattel did sporting goods Home Depot and TJ Maxx that's that's among others look I just want to give a super duper 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 triple duper quadruple duper sandwich to my company that I work for that I drive for that I appreciate that they look out for is drivers our company that literally that we can walk in and shake the hands of the people that works there can actually go to the president's office which is all the way in the back to the right and his door is open. Go in there, sit down, chop it up with him. The vice president, which is next door to him, his door is open. Go in there, sit down, chop it up with him. The safety director, the, the safety manager, the law guys, the dispatchers, everybody is available to you when you need them. The secretary. The HR person, again, everybody is there. My man Jason, shout out to Jason. Shout out to him. Shout out to my fleet manager. It's been a beautiful relationship since I've been with the company, with the fleet manager. Something he needs I get it done. Something I need, he gets it done. The, the, the customer service people sits right across from the dispatcher. And I could, when I, if I have a, a, a issue or something like that, I can either ask them or ask the, ask the, the planners. It ain't like my old company where you were up in Minnesota you you got the driver's lounge, but they the door's locked. You gotta actually pick up a phone and actually call your dispatcher on the phone. So whether your dispatcher wanna bring you into the office or not, but other than that, you the door's locked. You 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 need something, you gotta pick up the phone and then somebody'll come up to the window and then they'll take care of you. You need the keys to the car, they'll give you the keys to the car. That's a good thing. You can go around to the front and you can meet up with the the secretary. But the actual door is locked. You can probably you can walk upstairs to the second floor where where Don, the safety manager, is at. You can talk to him. <laughs> Scary dude, by the way. <laughs> but the actual dispatchers there. Mm -mm. U.S. Express, you can go, you can go in, depending on, depending on which terminals you go to, uh, they got an open door. You know, you can actually go in and talk, you know, directly with your fleet manager. That was cool. But actually talking to the planners and stuff like that, no. 
but you can talk to the fleet managers. You can actually open door. I think uh, I'm not sure if they change it, but Tunnel Hill, uh, Markham, and Springfield, Ohio, you can you can go in. But the second company I work for, no, their doors, their doors is shut. They only had three turn. Well, I'm not. Well, they got they they brought another company so now they got a terminal in ellenwood but the ellenwood terminal you actually got you, you gotta you gotta sign in the same thing with ellenwood with u.s express i'd say the only the only other thing that i disliked about u.s express as a driver when i go there and it's time and i'm ready to go somewhere i gotta i gotta sign out i gotta go and find somebody in the shop to sign a release form so that i can go somewhere at least here and at and at my previous company, you could hop in your truck and just go. You you want to post up at a you want to post up at a Loves, you can post up at a Loves. You don't have to be you don't have to wait at the terminal. You don't have to be subjected to be locked inside the terminal either. I'm just saying. But the bloodbath continues. How many more trucking companies that's going to be falling to the wayside and they over here talking about driver shortage well it uh, for the, uh, two two thousand plus the drivers over at gds is available now there ain't no driver shortage now you still got you still got drivers from falcon new england freight and all the other companies that that shut their doors this year you got those drivers available so where's the driver shortage at? I don't see it. Plus, you still got all these drivers that's coming in the school, that's coming into orientation every day. Now, you might want to turn around and say, hey, all these companies is closing. That's more freight for us. I mean, I that, that's how I'm thinking, right? I mean, it's it's... <laughs> I don't want to think that. I don't want to say it, but hell, it's more freight for us. Now that GD GDS is not available no more, their freight from TJ, I mean TJ Maxx, Home Depot, Dits, and Mattel is is more for the the more freight now. Let's grab it. Let's grab it, fleet manager. Let's grab it. So here's a shout out to the gds drivers if you see my video or hear my podcast give me a holler at gmail i mean at my gmail lockout men podcast at gmail.com if you're from ohio which is probably a good thing then get in contact with me and i can i can i can see what i can do as far as getting you hooked up with uh with jason all right Unfortunately, uh, my company that I work for, you have to live in Ohio and you have to live within uh, a radius. And being that you guys is from Akron, that's a good mile radius. So get in contact with me. My name's Lockout Man. Uh, I will give you the contact information that you need to get in contact with my company because we're we're looking. We're looking. We not only do dry van, but we do flatbed, we do uh, frat sand, and propane. We do propane, too. So give, a, give, give me a holler. You know what I'm saying? Give me a holler. All right. So that's it. Thank you for joining me on this podcast for this evening. And I would get back with you in another video. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your host, Lockout Men. Thank you very much for coming along on this ride, on this journey. And see, that was free information that I just gave you guys. Y'all didn't have to join no membership. No membership over here. None, period. No membership. That's the free game. Game is free over here. But if you want to donate to me, yo, donate. Hook a brother up with some coffee or something like that. Take me out to lunch. I appreciate it. All right.
And I, I, I still need more equipment. Y'all can, y'all can help me out with that too. All right, I'm gone. You guys take it easy. I'll come at you with another video. Peace. Sitting here, guess I didn't make bail. Got time and a story to tell. Started when I was nine years old. Woke up and daddy was gone. I started hustling and they couldn't tell me nothing. Running in the hood trying to be somebody. My soul was on everything.